what did you get today at Harbor Freight? Clips. Nice little clip assembly. For the dash. Three more magnets. Put our uh, the whole plastic, different cars, and put stuff in. Here's the reason for the video today is the portable tire changer. And you can see we have new tires. Tires. For the wheels for the lawnmower. They don't look like they're bad, which they're not, but they got the sidewall punctured. Somehow, Ready? some way. Yeah. I didn't do it. There it is. You put your finger in it. Yeah, then, somebody uh, did that. We don't know who. Yeah. So, what's in the box? Well, hopefully, something we've never done before. We're going to find out. Maybe we shouldn't have done it. Maybe. That it's people watching this going, oh, you idiots. Why did you buy that? And then we might hear it was the greatest purchase we ever made. I doubt that, but. Probably not. Uh, I'm going to change the camera to zoom out a little bit here. Be right back. All right, that's a little better. At least I can see what you're doing and not chop off your head. Crash here. Looks like a big tire iron there. That probably goes over, grabs the bead, and slides it around. I'm thinking, maybe. That yeah, looks, looks like, like it, it probably gets underneath something. Looks like it. And that's probably the rotating arm there. It goes on the top of there, I would think. Yeah, it looks like it. And we're going to have to mount that to something serious. Yeah. I don't think it's got any kind of assist on it. I think it's all leverage, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, just set that over there. Yeah. Your shop girl can uh, clean that up later. Powder coated red. Probably from Harbor Freight powder coating. Okay. Speaking of that, we got some more Harbor Freight powder coat. My favorite, matte black. We got Dougie some. Polish. We need some polishing compounds. Got you a new crimp tool. Oh yeah, this this Thomas and Betts version is $49.99 or so that I've got. And this one was $9.99 at Harbor Freight. Very good. Yeah, there I got I got some more uh, more step bits. bits. And then razor blades. Some of the white powder coat as well. This stuff is super slick. What'd you buy these for? Uh, cause we're actually getting low on cutoff wheels. Oh, we've only got maybe 50 left? Not those thin ones. So the powder coat, this white powder coat is actually the same, well, it's not the brightest in here. But you've seen, maybe if you want to check out the virtual pinball uh, video that I've done, there's all the legs. They turn out really, really slick. I mean, this is just so slick and nice so the eastwood powder all the powder is great but the you can't go wrong it's 6.99 for these stinking little one pound things of powder coat so can't go wrong with them all right i think that covers the harbor freight purchases here get out of there oh why are you going open and all that because when we want to use it, we're going to have to open this all up. Oh, that's going in my Milwaukee powder, or my Milwaukee uh, road kit. Yeah, well, you do it. Yeah, I'm doing it. That's not for your, that's not for your eyes, that's for your eyes only, not for your use. Oh, and then he bought, ooh, this is the first intro to the next videos. This is going to cover something special. It needs to be 
12 foot by 20 foot for a reason. If you can guess, put in the comments below what you think that's going to be used for. One of Pops' new purchases. Huh? I saw a little smile out of you there. That is one of the new purchases. A little smile, smile worthy, huh? Nothing else to open. All right, so we're going to figure out what we're doing to mount this and assemble. Yes. We'll revisit once we get some ducks in a row. We gotta find some ducks. It looks to me like the tire gets set on the ground. Yeah. This, this leverage wise, you pull up, you got your pole there, this comes down with the tire sitting down there, and then it, you leverage break the bead. Goes this up, goes under. And you take it and you pull up. And it breaks the bead from underneath. I doubt it. I doubt that very highly. It's going to be leverage pushing down. There it is. It pushes up. Yeah, and look, it pushes down. That's to go around. Well, I guess it'll break it off too. I guess. I guess. This breaks it that way or breaks it the other way too. I guess it's universal. Yeah, I guess. So. But. You're not gonna be able to get under the tire with it like this. See, Pop? You can't. No. You're not gonna do this by hand unless you got it up on a bench somewhere like this. Right. Well, it shows you put it on a skid. Mount it on a skid. That's what it shows. Okay. So. That would probably be pretty good. Uh, Are these to mount it? Some way, shape, or form? Yes. It goes down here. They're the exact same size as that. Oh, uh, ho, ho. So, let's just turn this thing upside down. All right. Let me get you, get you in frame here. Table somewhere there? I don't see it. Oh, oh there it is. It is. I don't know, use theirs. Oops, they gave it to you, might as well use it. Alright, All right, what would you say those are? 5 8 and nets? Looks like it. Nets. Is it 
tightening about all that the last one. Good. They come with like slag bolts to put down in the wood or no? No. Provide your own. It straddles. It straddles it, I guess. And you can bolt it to it. Huh. Yeah. But we're probably gonna bolt ours to the, uh, this isn't steel. Feel it. It's too light. It's got to be aluminum or something. It's hollow. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's hollow. Because this should rotate with an arm. Got a big long thread. That's fine. But I don't know what that does. Unless that holds the wheel on it. Oh. So you put the wheel on top of it? Maybe, I don't know. Which which is the tire that's got the Oh, we're doing both tires? This one's flat. That's the one. <coughs> so you gotta get on this. Okay, so you're going to try to push down on it? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to break that bead, I think. Raise that up. Put the tire on it. I think you need this is quick release that you can turn that around. All right. That's what I'm thinking. Nope, not gonna do it because of the, oh, yeah. the wrong way. Uh, put it up higher. get the tire off of there we got to bring we might need to read top. some instructions so we'll be right back all right we threw that on there oh we don't and it looks oh wait a minute wait a minute take that off take what off take the tire off we didn't get the star thing out there okay now oh you think it doesn't go on the star no, the star goes over the top. To hold okay. Tire. Alright. It looks like that's. Nope, it's not threaded. Oh! That locks the tire down. Yeah, in theory. I feel like this is gonna be the hokiest thing ever, but. Oh, so that you just tightened. All right. All right, so that wheel is on there. Yeah, so now, 
but then I don't know how it break the tire looks yet. All right, reading. I think it's gonna be fry in here. Yeah, you fry it out. But we need to get, grab some lube. Yeah. Lubing it up. All right, lube. I'm going extra lube here just to see how it. We just need to rub it down in here. Okay. We got plenty on there. So, you grab underneath and pull up. Is that the, yeah. is that the story? Okay, now you just go around the tire. Uh, maybe. Oh, there you go. You just rotate around this? Yes. We don't have a hydraulic in Oh, be damn. Now, pull it up. Now, get it down in there. Oh, we need lube on that end, too, on the other side of it. There, let's. Just transfer some soap. Yeah. To this lid. Okay, lube. What I can feel. I think that's got a pretty good bead on. Now do we use that side? Or the uh, same. I think you've got to use the same principle. Bring it up over that. And then uh, get a healthy foot on it. Okay, you just grab the bar and you roll it around, Pop. I'm holding it up so it actually pulls it up. Would you look at that? There's all kinds of glue and stuff in this tire. <laughs> We've squirted all kinds of stuff in there over time. Oh yeah. I mean, look at that. Six a flat. Uh, you want to clean up your rim? Yeah. Uh, we're not just going to throw this tire around because we've got caked up yeah. stuff. So we're going to try to get that stuff out of it. I would think that stuff would be like glue in there. It's not. You may hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry about that. I just mainly want to make sure the bead is super clean. Some of you may not clean yours at all. I uh, might think we're crazy for doing that, but. We put a lot of that fix a flat in there and that's what all that goop was, was probably the fix a flat that went dormant. Yep. That's still yucky up in there. All right. All right, so put some lube on there. And we cleaned it a little more. Is there an outside to the tire? I don't think I, there is. I think it's a directional. That way when you're going 55, it yeah. tracks the water away. You should be able to push the one side all the way down. Let me step on it. I got it here. Step on it. There you go. 
Wait, 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 Oh, you can't hold it straight. It's it's just because you're you're not holding it straight. Yeah, it's twisting your hand. Hold it straight. Hold this. One failed attempt. I'll try to hold this down. That's getting it. I know, but that's it. You need to hold that down. Try to just hold it from back here and try to keep it from rotating. You put, you just put, put weight down. See, it's just, it's just coming up. Maybe we gotta go this way. Maybe. No, nope, looks like it's beveled the same way on both sides. Okay, no. Put any force to twist because it just wants to come right up on the side. Try this. Like this. Uh, let's, let's do it closer here. Yeah. Yeah. Put it down. I don't want to pull this up. I know. <laughs> Yeah, 
got it. Woohoo! Success! I don't know if you call that a success. All right, let's see if it'll take the air. Uh, we need to take this off. Oh, you kind of really torqued that with something. I don't know what you did. This. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. You don't have the vacuum assist that just blows air from yeah. underneath? You don't have that? That wasn't an option you get for $39? No. Alright, that looks like it'll try. Better hear some pops. Pop, pop. There's one pop. This one has already popped. Hey, pop. It's popped. Look at that! We need a pressure gauge. See what? How many pounds is those supposed to have in? I don't know. Until you can't bend them when you kneel on them. That's what I would do. Yeah, that needs a little more air. What does it say? It needs? I don't read much. I don't want to overinflate them. Uh, you got a leak right there. There we go. Yeah. See, it wasn't popped. Nope, not all the way up. I max. Yeah. A little over 15, a little more. Yeah, 20. So it's 20 psi max. So we live life to the maximum. Well. All right, we're gonna time ourselves, and we'll see if we can do this one one minute faster. <laughs> okay, we decided since the tread doesn't matter, the new tread basically you can see is the same as our old tread. Yeah, it is. They're the same tires, so you don't see get to see us pumping this machine anymore uh, until we go and do uh, the rims for the Challenger because I burnt the tires off of that one. So. Um, we got new wheels to go on the 2010 Dodge Challenger, so we'll make a video of that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Anything else today? Mm -mm. Any final words? Hooray for Harbor Freight. Yeah, 39 bucks. We got that. 39 bucks, and, it w and, and nobody in town wants to mount used tires, so I would say if you... If you had that mounted to a skid like it asks you to do. Yeah, but I want to mount it to our uh, metal trailer. It's all metal bed. We'll drill the holes. Slap that on. Temporary mount it so we can stand up there and do it all. Then we can take it in. And then I would say it's a one-person job. Yeah, one person. If that, if, if that is sturdy, then you could actually get some torque on that yes, thing. Yes, yes. Doing it with, when it's not mounted to anything, you could see in the video it. Uh, proved a little difficult. So, almost done. Anything else from Clark's place today? I think that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.